Happy National Roller Coaster Day! Hello there, guys. My name is Coach Shell Dogs, the born but built for the pop facts entertainment. Happy National Roller Coaster Day! Brilliant, 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 brilliant. And today we're going to be talking about Flamingo Land in Moulton, North Yorkshire, and we're going to be talking about their brand new ten looping roller coaster because, thanks to an official park map screenshot, it has officially been postponed until 2021 it will be open in 2021 the name has not been released however from the part map we get to see a look at the possible train design and the track color confirmed now before we get started guys please like comment subscribe click okay so you never miss youtube video share the channel subscribe to all the social medias in the description and all that also guys Shout out to Brian Galeas, Falco Flair, Single Rail Industries and Minnesota Coaster Enthusiasts. If you want a shout out in our next video, then comment it down below. Let's get into this video and let's talk about this screenshot of the brand new 10 looping roller coaster. Oh yeah. So the screenshot on your screen is a screenshot I have personally taken myself. And that is from the official part map of Flamingo Land for 2020. And as you can see, the 10 Inversion Coaster is there. But of course, it's called 10 Inversion Coaster. Now, that's not the actual name. The actual name has not yet been released, which is very, very interesting. And um, yeah, from the looks of it, it looks very, very lovely. And if you look very closely, you can see two trains on the circuit. So does that mean a two train coaster? I think it does. Now, looking then at the track and train colour, it's very much the grey and the black supports or the dark grey supports and the light grey track uh, that we were expecting when we first heard about the track colour and stuff like that months and months and months ago. Uh, and look at the trains. Look at them. Yellow seats and a big Union Jack at the front. I mean, this gives me big one crosses icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach vibes personally so there is the official track color support color and, tra and trains design and color and look uh, for this 10 inversion coaster obviously like I said it hasn't got a name yet so because it's called 10 inversion coaster on the map for now that won't be the official name I'd be very surprised if it is but you know, this gives us an indication that over this winter period, we're going to understand the name of this brand new roller coaster. And, you know, again, reverting back to the track and the trains colour and the design of them. You know, we knew about the track colour. We knew it was going to get painted. It was painted in, you know, one or two areas of the track already, but like little sections. But we know it's all going to be painted into this light grey with the dark grey black supports. And... You know, the, tra the train design is very interesting as well. Now, obviously, currently in the in the maintenance shed, we know that the trains are green, because uh, that was the original colour from the Hopi Hari when it was supposed to open in Hopi Hari in Brazil. Uh, if you want some history on this, base for those of you who are new to the channel, basically, this was set to open for 2011 at Hopi Hari, and because of financial problems, they couldn't open it, so they kept it in storage for a few years. Then it was shipped out to MAPS, Movie Animation Park Studios in Malaysia for a couple of years. It's set in storage till then, and then Flamingo Land bought it. So uh, that's the history of it. And of course, if you didn't know already, it's on the site of the former Corkscrew roller coaster, which, you know, since that was removed in 2011 from the park, it became like a temporary car park, I guess. Um, so they've removed that, they've got this long strip of land with the children's rides at one end, the cycle monorail's been completely demolished and, um, you know, sat in storage I think somewhere and the other children's rides have been relocated to different areas around the park and, you know, it's, it's this long strip of land where the coaster's going so it's replacing the corkscrew technically. But with this coaster, I like that the, in terms of the, the train design and stuff like that, I like the... The, the Union Jack train design. Like I said, it's got me a bit of a big one crosses icon vibe. And obviously, like I was speaking about the name with the 10 version coaster, I expect an announcement around the winter period with the name. I think that, um, you know, I think it will probably be called Inversion. I know many people don't really like that name, but if you, for any doubters that think Inversion will be a terrible name, look at the Flamingo Land marketing team. If it's a terrible name, they will market it as an amazing ride. They will market it as an incredible ride. Those of you who are not a fan of the name Inversion, if it is called Inversion, I think that you've got to look at the marketing department, look at Pterodactyl, that might, might, it's not a terrible name Pterodactyl, but I think there could have been potentially other ones. But, obviously there was a rumour, 
did you know uh, that it was that pterodactyl was rumored to be called the monkey puzzle tree? Very interesting that. And um, yeah, pterodactyl was uh, the San Pelo vertical swing. It's still there now. Opened, of course, uh, in the summer of 2012. And you know they had this whole logo, the marketing for it. And, you know, the marketing team did a very good job promoting and advertising and teasing and marketing this ride. And, you know, again, Hero might be the worst coaster in the world, in my opinion. But, you know, I can't lie with the branding and the marketing of it. It was decent branding. The Superman theme, maybe replace that. Maybe get I'm a Scoring or someone or the Notable Stranger from Blackpool and do, like, a custom soundtrack for Hero instead. Uh, so we can play that in the background of videos and <laughs> not get copyrighted for Superman themes. Um, but, you know, the, the whole logo, if, if there's anything about Hero that I like, it's the logo and the branding of it. And the marketing team did an incredible job with that. Uh, same with the likes of Kamali, Mumbo Jumbo, Velocity, Cliffhanger. So many different rides that may be good, may be bad, may be alright, may be average. But the marketing makes it fantastic. And that's always been one big trait for Mingle and year after year. The marketing department. Um, so I think this row will be absolutely no different. I think that, you know, we've been following this project for gone about a year now, nearly two years, and it'll, it'll probably be about, two, well, it'll technically be um, two full years in February 2021. It'll be technically two full years that we covered this. Uh, so, you know, we've followed this project for a long, long time, and... You know, this is definitely going to be an interesting uh, attraction for the park. And like I said, this will be an interesting attraction for the future of the park. I think that Flamingoland's long-term future has just upped its game even more. Because the attraction is going to give them so much revenue with the restrictions in place for social distancing. You know, COVID and everything. Um, but, you know, Flamingoland definitely has a more a more upbeat long-term future than it already did. There's a lot of potential for other future attractions around the park. Skyflyer site, the Action Man HQ training camp attraction, you know, on the other side of the rail track, uh, opposite this, like, splash water play area. Um, kind of like Water Kingdom at Poulton's Park. Opposite that, there's the Action Man HQ training camp. Uh, I think that's been abandoned. Um... Now, I've heard rumours that could be refurbished, but I would rather see that demolished and replaced with some kind of new flat ride, maybe. Um, maybe they could do something nice uh, with other areas of the park. Maybe re-theme a couple of rides. Hero, I think, should go. As much as I like the marketing for that, I think they should replace that with another compact coaster uh, in the future, in the next few years, and maybe bring in um, a new... Uh, like a, Again, the marketing for it would be brilliant, but I think just a better coaster. Even a, a, a Premier Skyrocket 2 would be great for that park. So, because it's a compact coaster, and it'd be a great addition to replace Hero with. So, you know, I think that there's a few areas for development. Miss Chief Mansion, possible Peter Rabbit re-theming to a Peter Rabbit Dart ride. So, you know, again, there's real potential for the future of this park. So I think I'm really excited to cover the future of the park after this investment opens next year. So there we go, so that is looking then at the track colour, the train colour, the train design, the support colour, the map, the confirmation, it's been delayed till 2021, we had an inkling it'd be 2021, but now the park have officially confirmed it, uh, so we'll be hopefully looking to ride this in 2021, I want to try and get out there for the opening day, um, you know, I think, in the summer of 2021, I'm a free man, I've got no studies, I can do whatever I want, so hopefully I want to try and do a loads of trips next year, and uh, Flamingoland hopefully should be one of them, as well as the likes of Alton Towers, Paltons Park. You know, I want to try and get back to Drayton Manor once they've added a few new stuff in the next few years. Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the Valhalla refurbishment. That is a dream trip of mine. Um, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any more thrilling YouTube content. And for now, guys, keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.